Hello and welcome to the online A-Level Tutor. Today we will learn about macroeconomics objectives and policies for governments. The first and arguably the most important is economic growth. An increase in real GDP is often regarded as the fundamental objective or macroeconomics policy by governments, not only in poor developing countries where it is seen as a means of reducing absolute poverty, but also in developed countries by governments wishing to maintain popularity. Further, many economists regard this objective as being pivotal in achieving other macroeconomic objectives. The second objective is sustainable growth, this is usually defined as the ability to meet the needs of the present generation without compromising the needs of the future generations. There have been growing concerns in countries with rapid economic growth, such as China and India, who are depleting their resources and destroying the environments. The limitation of the external costs associated economic growth is an objective that can only be met with global cooperation. Another objective is low and stable inflation rate. Apart from other disadvantages, high inflation rates can damage the international competitiveness of a country as goods, hence countries try to maintain a low and steady inflation rate. Equally a deflation is just as bad if not worse than high inflation. If deflation occurs then people wait until the price becomes lower in anticipation of a good deal hence consumption will fall. One key objective is to have low unemployment. If a country is to maximize its potential it must have low unemployment, hence will lead to economic growth. The government also have to have a balance of payments equilibrium in the current account. One of the major imbalances between countries has been in relation to the balance of payments. Whilst the UK slash USA have been running huge trade deficits, China has been running a trade surplus. Although the deficits have been financed by inflows into the financial account, many argue that this is unsustainable in the long term. Large deficits can lead to prolonged depreciation of the sterling slash dollar, which could destabilize the world economy. A government may also have policies such as redistribution of income. Most developed countries use progressive taxes and welfare payments, especially means to estate benefits, to redistribute wealth from the rich to the poor. The last policy and objective a government has is a fiscal balance. If a government continually spends more on spending than they receive in tax revenue, they could find themselves in serious amounts of debts that they may not be able to pay back. Thank you for listening to my robot voice. Please subscribe and like and share for more economics lessons.